Thanks for joining us for this very special edition of The Blue and You. Now let's continue our tour of Denver's brand new state-of-the-art crime lab. Okay, we're going to go into forensic imaging. It used to be the old photo lab where we develop color photographs, black and white photographs, but we don't do that anymore. You know, everything is digital. I think since, what, 2004, we actually went digital. So let's go into the studio and I'll show you a little bit of what we have. Again, this is all done in number 12 gray. I guess it's supposed to be the uh, photographer's dream. We'll have all kinds of uh, backdrops in here. We have a catwalk that's about 12 feet above the floor so we can do down shots on larger equipment. Dressing room for victim and suspect. In addition, we also have an entrance. As we, uh, this, this lab will be a closed down facility. There really won't be anybody allowed into the laboratory area, but we still need to bring victim and suspects into this area to be uh, documented. So we have a, we have a door on the, to goes to the exterior of the building. It's a one-way door, and these people are escorted in by police officers, have their uh, pictures taken, and then they're escorted out. So we don't have to worry about building integrity, that type of thing. We're on the second floor now, and for the most part, DNA occupies uh, the analytical side of the second floor. What I'd like to show you right now is what we call forensic biology. And basically, they're the ones that are going to be searching our evidence, or our, uh, evidence for um, particles. And they could be uh, blood particles, or semen, or uh, saliva. They could be hairs, they could be fibers. They could be anything, but that's what we're going to be searching for. So let me show you how they do that. When we were looking in the instrumentation room of the old lab, and you were looking at chemists that were doing some organic work, and if you looked to the north of them, we had a, a table where people were searching evidence. In this building, we have four different rooms that are designed for uh, specific areas of, of inspection. This room is gonna be used for small item inspection and generally most of our stuff that's coming in here is going to be small item. That'd be, you know, the, the individual clothing or the guns or the knives or shoes or whatever the case might be will be looked at in this room. Again, we're, we've got articulated search lamps. This is going to make the job a lot easier. Um, these are basically a dental type uh, format, but they're, they're all articulated. They can move at various places that we want them to. Anywhere that we need them, they can move to it. So we've kind of designed that into this, this format. Down a little bit further, again, notice the light too while, they, while you're doing it. And notice the space. Remember I promised you that this, is, this was going to be the format is space. So instead of that one little table in the, in the instrument room, we've now got five separate rooms. We have a need to look at evidence with various different wavelengths of light. So we have a room that we can black out and look at evidence under a dark and then illuminated condition. We're not gonna take the evidence out into the hallway. The evidence will stay in this area. And then we're gonna take it through a pass-through that we have. So once we've extracted it and we've developed our sample trays, we're gonna place it in this pass-through. And again, the other door won't open as long as this door is open. Put our evidence in there, seal it up, and now the people in the post stamp area across the window, across the wall here, will grab that evidence, put it into the 3130s, analyze it, and come up with a GI DNA profile. All of this without taking the evidence back out into the hallway. Therefore, we were avoiding contamination, we're speeding up the process, we're eliminating bottlenecks, and again, efficiency is going to be increased at this point. Do you remember the lunchroom? But the lunchroom itself is, uh, has grown. Most of us, we don't go to restaurants. We don't have time. You know, we're, we're working at our benches. So most of us brown bag it. And this is an opportunity for folks to come together. So again, not notice the light space in here. This is open. This is good stuff. You're watching The Blue and You on Denver's Channel 8.